Hello, right, we think I think I've got that working. Oh hang on, my head's blotting out Maggie Thatcher. Let's move that to the left. I use these life size cutouts partly to uh oh dear, we can't see her head now. Partly to cover up um uh no that's not gonna work either. Partly to cover up heaps of stuff that are all over the place. The flat's a bit untidy at the moment. This is what happens when you downsize from a five bedroom house to a one bedroom flat. You've just got stuff everywhere. <laughs> anyway, hello. This is my uh, end of day one update for the Living Below the Line charity challenge that I'm doing at the moment. Um, I'm looking this way to bring things up on the uh, computer. So I just wanted to initially thank everyone who has um, donated so far to the three charities Action Aid, VSO, and Syria Relief. Um, fantastic, we've had £350 donated already with gift aid, that's £400, so I'm astonished at that. Uh, they're all really big donations as well, looking at them, the smallest is 50 quid. Um, so we've got Martin Teller, Brian G, Simon T.Y and Michael M, who've all donated £50 plus gift aid, aid each, which is amazing. That's, uh, thank you so much for that, that's absolutely brilliant, I know all four of those guys. Um, they're good friends, great people, and really appreciate your support. Also, we've had £100 from Gompels Healthcare, who I've never heard of, but I've just looked at their website, gompels.co.uk, and that is very much the go-to place for um, healthcare uh, items. So if I need some nutritional or incontinence products, um, I shall definitely use their website in preference to any other. So thank you ever so much for that extremely generous donation. Uh, how's it gone so far of my eating for a pound a day challenge? Well, actually, it's been all right. I had a massive bowl of uh, porridge this morning, but only made with water because so gruel basically. So there's no um, there's no room in the budget for uh, sugar, honey, or milk or anything like that. And it was actually all right. If you're hungry, you just eat it. Um, I didn't feel hungry till late afternoon after eating that big bowl of porridge. I really miss my morning coffee though. I've got no bu no money in the budget for coffee or milk. Uh, massively missed that this morning. That's probably why I fell asleep um, just after lunch and, uh, and slept pretty much for the whole afternoon, which is a bit bizarre. I've had four slices of toast with jam on, but no butter because there's no butter in the budget, so that doesn't taste great. For an evening meal, I made a rice, broccoli, carrot and onion stir-fry thing in a pan. It wasn't good. Um, I, to make it edible I had to tip in loads of cumin, um, cayenne pepper and a few other so I currified it basically. <laughs> uh, it was just about edible after that. I have to say um, smart, as to smart price rice is shit. Um, I'm going to definitely go back to Aldi easy cooked rice. That's a lot better. So for pudding I had uh, half a can of this smart price rice pudding and which I think only cost about 20p or something. It wasn't bad actually, a bit watery, um, quite pleasant with a, a spoon of jam in it. So I'm, I'm reasonably well, um, well fed at the moment. Um, there's no beer or cider unfortunately. The only slight cheat I've had is that I'm making um, tea with some old tea bags. I found some peppermint uh, tea bags which were just going to get thrown out. So I thought, well, uh, that's better than nothing, isn't it? There haven't been any other cheats. I haven't really missed meat today. Tomorrow I'm having um, the delights of a uh, smart price spag bol. Can you believe it? This is 19p a can. 19p. And the ingredients don't look too bad actually. It's uh, only 6% meat, which is fine. Um, <coughs> not a huge amount of 200 and 260 calories. Uh, only 4.4 grams of fat. I mean, it looks all right. So um, uh, I'm going to have that with some mushy peas, I think, tomorrow for, for evening meal. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Oh, just also, because I was late doing the... Um, well, because I was asleep all afternoon, basically. I think it, I was just knackered for after all the talks I did at, uh, at Mellow in Peterborough. Because of that, um, uh, I'm updating the Small Cap Valley report now, this evening. It's half past nine now, Monday night. I've uh, just done a write-up on Sprue Aegis, and I'm going to look at three or four other companies. So, anyway, that's it for now. Thank you for listening. Thank you very much to everyone who's supported so far. Uh, I do want to urge, though, you know, you don't have to make massive donations. If it's just a tenner or a fiver, any amount is, 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 is gratefully um, received. So, thank you very much indeed. Bye.